Hey there guys, this is Deepak Shatriya and I welcome you all to another new session in Deepak's Kitchen. And today I am going to make a beautiful recipe and that's Sabudana Kheer. It's a creamy rich dessert that is perfect for any occasions. It is easy to make and requires only very few ingredients. I will guide you step by step on how to make this delicious dessert and also provide you with some tips and tricks to make it even better so so without further ado let's see how this beautiful recipe is done to make you understand better i'm going to use measuring cups for all the ingredients in this i'm going to take one cup of sabudana or sago I'm taking one cup of it. If you want, you can take nylon version of this sago also. So here I'm going to add one cup. For every one cup of sago, you need to take half a cup of sugar. That's two is to one ratio. So now half a cup of sugar is good enough. So you can adjust to according to your taste if you want more sweet. Now wash this sabudana two or three times and allow this to soak for about a five hours. Look after 5 hours, the sabudana or the sago looks like this. It's actually doubled up in its size. And look how soft and mushy it had become. This is perfect. Now let's keep this aside. Here I have taken a kadai. In this I am going to add nearly a tablespoon of ghee. And in this I will add nearly 10 badam or almonds. 10 raisins 10 chopped cashew nuts and you need to saute or fry on a low flame for about a 2 minutes perfect just look at it how beautiful it has been cooked you should get a just a golden hue color on it it's perfect at that time so now it's done Take this out in a plate and keep it aside. In this the same pan and the same ghee, I am going to add the soaked sabudana or the sago and saute or fry it on a 2 minutes on a low to medium flame. Perfect. Now in this we are going to add nearly one and a half cups of a full fat cream milk. and add the sugar and now let it boil for about uh, two or three minutes you can see the milk is already boiling in this the sago or the sabudana will be cooked for about a 60 to 70 percent Now in this I am going to add the fragrant ingredient that's elaichi powder, the cardamom powder around a 2 pinches of it and 1 tablespoon of cashew nut powder this gives a creamy texture and the body to the kheer. Mix it well and allow this to boil for about a 2 minutes on a low flame. So I am going to close this and cook for about a 3 minutes on a low to medium flame. After 3 minutes now open the lid, perfect, just look at it, how beautiful. Now the sabudana, the sago is perfectly cooked and now got the desired consistency. Let's add the fried dry fruits and first switch off the flame and add the condensed milk, nearly 2 tablespoons of it. Do remember you should never cook the condensed milk so that's the reason why I switch off the flame and just mix it thoroughly. That's it and this sabudana 
खीर और पायसम इज रेडी यू कैन हैव दिस इट इन एनी ओकेजन इट्स गोज जस्ट एक्सलेंट विथ एवरीथिंग द सीक्रेट इंग्रीडियंट्स वॉट वी यूज इन दिस आर ओनली टू दैट्स द काजू पेस्ट विच गिवस ए रिच and creamy texture to the dessert and the condensed milk which enhances the flavors by many folds you just do try this as the way i shown you in this recipe i am pretty sure you and your family and your friends will just fell in love with this recipe so i hope you guys definitely love this video if so then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon then only you will get all our updates so i will be back with another yummy and delicious recipe like this till then deepak chatriya signing off and jai hind jai karnataka namaskara